Hello YouTube, welcome back to another video. Today is Christmas Eve, and as I usually do, I'm going to be doing exit sign testing today. So, the fire alarm portion of the Christmas special will be tomorrow, so don't panic if you're not into exit signs. But traditionally, I do exit sign setups on Christmas Eve, so that's what we're going to be doing. In the first spot right here, in the basement obviously, I have the Light Alarms X Series Incandescent Exit Sign. This was new in box. You can see that it is side mounted. Uh, I did actually want to side mount this just because I kind of wanted a red and a green exit sign. Technically, this is a green one, but we don't talk about that. Um, so you can see it as side wall mounted on the uh, octagon box. I was a little concerned that the sign might fall off, but it is anchored in well. Usually, I'd prefer to get into a stud, but I could not get one that was a reasonable distance away from here. So that's why it's just on anchors. You can see this one has a battery pack and a faceplate that's green. This actually came red, but you can just put a green faceplate on these because it's an incandescent sign, so it doesn't really matter. Um, usually I don't punch out arrows because that's... Anyone who punches out arrows on incandescent signs is a buffoon usually, but uh, I did the cardinal sin of punching one out, and the reason I did that was because this faceplate isn't even original to this sign. This was actually a faceplate I stole from a different sign. Um... And I just punched it out because the arrow was already kind of coming out. And I just figured, why not? So if I test it, you can kind of see it light up. The AC bulbs are just really bright. If we follow the Christmas lights to this side of the basement, you can see right over here I have my mule lighting exit sign. I'm not sure if uh, mule originally produces this, but this is a fully steel exit sign mount plastic. It is also LED uh, in the exit sign part, but the emergency lights are actually um incandescent which is kind of weird this sign kind of looks retro but it's really not this one's from 2015 um i believe this one was made in canada because it does have an option to work on 347 volts um something interesting about this sign is that if we look at the ac indicator you can see that there's actually two of them so one is for ac the other one is for charge um what that means is basically this indicates whether it's receiving power or not and the red charge light indicates whether the battery is charging or not. So right now the battery is fully charged and it's not charging. That's why um, it's not on. But if I were to go ahead and test it, which I will, you can see these heads are actually pretty bright. Lights up pretty well. Once I let go, you can see the charge light has turned on because I just used a little bit of the battery. And it is charging to make up for the battery that I just wasted. So if we go over here to this side of the basement, if you're curious what that flashing is, that's just um, these Christmas lights. They are just blinky and twinkly, so that's why uh, you might see a flashing shadow. But right here, I have my Lithonia ELM2 in a new location. So this is actually flush mounted, so you can see no boxes uh, on top of the ceiling. It's actually all behind the ceiling. Um, obviously, I didn't get to just cut a big hole in the ceiling. There actually was a uh junction box already in the ceiling and there was just a blank cover on it so i actually got permission to just install this here because there was nothing here anyways um so if i test it it's actually pretty bright lights up the area well um so yeah that's that these are a little fragile so that's why i was a little skeptical about putting this on skeptical about putting this on the ceiling at first um but again these two snaps are engaged so it's not going to fall off the ceiling and i'm not too concerned about that next up in the utility room or the boiler room or the mechanical room i actually have a lithonia hqm exit sign combo this is just the combo version of that emergency light i just showed um you can see it's mounted up high looks pretty cool um again this one is technically incandescent but i have led bulbs inside that are designed to look like they are incandescent um so you can see that's what it looks like i had to turn on the lights even though that kind of kills the holiday spirit but that's that now let's go ahead and turn off the power okay i'm gonna turn off power to basement and three two one okay hold on let me just turn off the panel because it's gonna keep whining okay so of course the panel is whining because i turned off power but um you can see the lights on everything i've turned on unfortunately the christmas lights have just turned off which just completely kills the mood um but you can see this works fine lights up the space adequately you can't read in that light obviously but you can escape a burning building this is uh actually lit really well um it might not look that that good on camera but it, it is pretty uh decently lit for a incandescent sign 
It also is a really rich green color. Usually incandescent signs that are green, they look like poo-poo, but this one actually looks really, really green and really, really nice, which is why I put it up. So I actually think this is probably one of my favorite incandescent, it is my favorite incandescent sign now. Um, so you can see the arrow points this way and I can walk over here to this bright red exit sign, which is lighting up this place. Uh, it is a little messy in here, so you'll have to excuse that, but yeah. Um, so yeah, that's pretty cool. I think everything lights up pretty well. So now let's go ahead and turn the power back on. Again, this is still lit. Fire panel is still working. And uh, yeah, so power on. Well, I think that's gonna do it. Today was the last exit sign setup of 2021. And I have to say, um, there were some incredible innovations, should I say, in exit sign testing this year. First of all, this year was the first year I actually got to mount my exit signs on the wall, which was fantastic. Um, you know, I also got a lot of comments from new people who are getting into the exit sign hobby, which is also cool. And uh, yeah, so here's to a lot more exit sign testing videos in 2022. Thank you for watching. This is Fire Alarm Dude 5967 signing off for the last exit sign setup of 2021.